Okay, so um, <clears throat> just wanted to show you um, how your product search field integrates with your DAM. Uh, on the product content type, you could put this search on any content type because it all comes from just one file, but there's this search field that uh, has a single file that controls it that will search your DAM for anything that you search using this field and then will return the product uh, name, SKU, small image path, large image path, the date it was added, uh, date it was up, the last updated, file format, file type, size um, of um, you know the uh, product that you choose. Uh, so here the product number I left to set in .cms just in case you had an internal model number that was different from the SKU that from someone that you're getting the product from, I didn't know. So I'd left that one there, you could set it, right? Uh, and as we can see in the search field, the only one that's actually a code field is this one that's just doing a dot .parse of a field that's inside of the folder called application VTL custom fields, widen dam.vtl. So you'll see the one page of code, it's not even a page, um, it's just got um, JavaScript and your credentials for your dam. And this is just a field called search. So once again, you could put this over and over again. You'd have to recreate these on any other content type. These other fields that get populated by that search, but you could have as many search fields searching your dam or you know other things and search you know multiple different external resources at the same time if you wanted to. So if we come here to content search, so here we're looking at a couple of products I already put into the system. But let's look at this Newport grade desk here that I have not searched for and updated. Okay, so this is the .cms fields and the .cms content that I already had in before I did the little damn uh, fields. So um, here's this Newport grid desk. This is my image. And then I had typed the product model number from what I saw on your site. So let me just use that in the search, I guess. Or you can search by name. We'll, we'll search by name next. So this looks like, you know, I think this one was it. Um, so then I'd match the SKU, the data added, the data updated, the ID, you know, the name of the product, whatever. I click on it, and that's updating all of my info uh, here in the system. I can lock for editing and save and publish. See, that was added 12, 26, 2018. And then I click away, and it updates my Highline Gray Desk. Now, uh, let's just say, oh, sorry, the Newport Gray Desk. So now let's just say, you know, I saw something was wrong. I needed to update it. So I could click back on the image and, uh, you know, here, now let's do a product search. Um, I'll just do um, desk, you know, or we could do Highline Gray Desk or whatever you wish. And so now I'm getting a whole bunch of, you know, desk coming back. So I could click on this one, which is a Highline Gray Desk, but it's not the right one. And this has a, you know, a date added of 624 into 2019. So you'll see the date change over here. There we go. Everything just changes, you know, automatically. And now I've got that new product. And then if I just search whatever this field is coming back and I hit that in the URL, uh, you know, you can see it's bringing back that uh, that uh, info from the, uh, you know, here's my large image path. I hit that, open up a new URL, paste that in the URL, and hit it, and there's my larger image. So you can bring back whatever. There's more image choices, but, you know, I was bringing back a few, and um, then lock for editing and save and publish, and then that'll update 624-2019 uh, in the system.